Stefan, I look forward to talking to you about indoor location services as you're the project manager here in Signify. Can you tell me about how you transform from visual light communication to Bluetooth enhanced communication? We are now offering indoor location services to our customers since uh, 2015 when okay. we started with VLC indoor positioning. Mm -hmm. uh, VLC is visible light communication, right. yeah. so it works with the light from our luminaires yeah. that just illuminate uh, this space. Okay. But there is a code hidden in the light that right. can be received by a smartphone, by the front camera. You can see the code and recognize it. And based on that code, it knows exactly where it is in the space. Okay. And with that, we achieve an accuracy of the smartphone location of 30 centimeters. All right. And that's pretty accurate. Our retail customers use it to uh, develop apps that help uh, their shoppers to navigate to products in the store. Okay. Uh, and we are now extending that also to office applications, for example, Makes so sense. that colleagues can find each other yeah. in open office spaces. Yeah. It's also implemented in a university where uh, students can use it to find uh, the lecture room. Okay. Uh, but in these kind of complicated buildings, we have seen that sometimes there are areas where VLC is not, not working perfectly. All right. So we are now adding Bluetooth beacons to our luminaires so that you can, in addition to VLC, use Bluetooth to navigate the smartphone. I like that because actually I'm also using Bluetooth uh, in my connected components uh, to facilitate the installation. So an installer will need to glue together a couple of fixtures and create a group. And he will be doing that using his phone with Bluetooth connection to the lights to be able to create the group and organize connected lights. So that actually means that there will be a lot of components coming to the market, millions of them, with Bluetooth inside, allowing perhaps even further development of indoor positioning services. If uh, Bluetooth devices are yeah, available everywhere where lights are, yeah, there's an explosion of, of opportunities. For example, in the San Francisco airport, Uber uses Bluetooth beacons that are installed there in the terminal to have uh, drivers find their customers more easily than based on GPS alone. So the driver can come close to you yeah. exactly where you are at that point in time. Makes a lot of sense. So you extend the GPS functionality to, uh, to the location, perhaps exactly. even also opening other applications, right? Yeah, for example, in tunnels where GPS uh, generally doesn't work, oh, yeah. uh, so the navigation system gets lost. Well, if uh, there are lights in a tunnel, so if they have Bluetooth beacons, yeah. Uh, yeah, then the navigation system can use those to find uh, its way. Yeah. So apart from these GPS enhancements, are there any other messages that can be broadcasted with Bluetooth? Yeah, you can even have a personalized message to a smartphone app. For example, we are exploring that with uh, retail customers. If a retailer has a uh, loyalty app, uh, then he can target promotions specifically to the, the person who is interested in those promotions, only the ones that are relevant for you. I think that app developers will all become very creative and use this additional possibility to create additional value and improve people's lives based on Bluetooth beacons. Thank you for creating that ecosystem because it attracts my components into the market and I look forward to enable your business and be working together. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it too, uh, Peter. <laughs>